Hello there. Welcome to Friday's edition of Power of Glory. It's still your friend from the Faith of Prayer and Authority, Siri Laka. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you, and we give you praise. As your word is going to go forth, let the Father, the Father, sort of our heart <coughs> and be a good fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember to join us today, Friday, 5 p.m., 23 or like that, they call your to Jigo. Elect, we converge to pray and fellowship in the word of living God. I hope to see you there tomorrow. Uh, we, uh, the women we tra- traveling in prayer from 8 a.m. 23 or like that the Korea Street and uh, next week from the from Wednesday Thursday to Friday that is um, 23rd 24th 25th we'll be having our family victory in Christ Jesus 6 p.m. daily I hope to see you there praise God hallelujah all right beloved this morning <coughs> You know, I need you to understand. The Bible says um, we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Yeah, the Bible tells us that the devil is an accuser of the brethren. But from my personal study, I have come to realize that the devil will rather have you do something than he go ahead to accuse you. There's something in the arsenal of the devil that he will always employ instead of him going to God to accuse you. And what would the devil, what is that thing? In the arsenal of the devil, that thing is, he will always want to make you sin against God. Instead of him to go and accuse you before God, he will make you sin against God. And just like the scripture says, your sins will find you out. Look at the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 21. David, heavily anointed, the king, the prophet, the priest, the almighty guy, the guy who went to war and never lost, the guy who was always inquiring of the Lord, the small boy from at 17 that they had already seen his future to be he used to, to be the future king. But when he got to First Chronicles 21, what happened? The devil moved David to sin against God. When you get to First Chronicles 21, what happened? You will find out that the devil, even with all the anointing and everything, the devil found a way to make that man sin against God. So the devil, at every point in time, instead of him accusing you, he will want to make you sin against God. Remember, this was the same tactics the devil employed with Balaam and the children of Israel. When he looked up and, ah, and he saw that these guys were too holy, God, that God was with them, that there was nothing he could do. What did he inspire Balaam to say? He inspired Balaam to tell Balak, if only you can make these people sin against their God. And then it will result to cursing. So instead of the devil to go to go to accuse you, you know that that's a long process. What he does is make you sin against God. And when you sin against God, remember the scripture says your sin will find you out. God cannot be told in iniquity. That is the same thing he tried for Joseph with Potiphar's wife. Trying to make that man sin against God. Ah, and that man was a man who was full of wisdom. And he said, will I do this and sin against God? Everyone who has this understanding, we know that the, that when certain things come his way, when certain things come her way, it is the devil that is trying to make Men, you sin. Like Joseph, they were not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. And so when the devil came with his antics, he said, would I do this and sin against God? I need you to understand that the devil will rather stand against you, make you to commit a sin before God than accuse you. He knows that's easier to do. He knows that's easier to make God, <clears throat> to make you an enemy of God. The Bible says in First Chronicles 21 that he stood against he stood up against israel so if by if the devil can stand up against a people can he stand up against you can I stand up against me that's why the book of ephesians chapter 6 says that what as well likewise we too we have to stand up against him if he stands you too you stand it says in ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 it says put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand praise god beloved it is only the man so it's not taking the posture of standing that will be overwhelmed by the devil. It's high time that the devil stopped 
winning over us. Bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices. If you know this, then you know that you can triumph over the devil. So, are you listening to me this morning? The only way to effectively stand against the devil is if only you are seated in Christ Jesus. If only you are seated in that throne where he is seated. And it is only possible by accepting him as your Lord and personal Savior. You're listening to me this morning. You have not accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior. Now is the time to do so because tomorrow might be too late. You're going to do so by different appearance and say, Lord Jesus, I come in the multitude of my sin. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my iniquity. Thank you for being my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for who is put a promise inside of me. In Jesus' most powerful name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Beloved, if you just said that prayer, <clears throat> I congratulate you. You are now a bride of Christ. Please, our number to come up on this prayer. Please do get in touch with us. We want to know you and continue to pray with you. You know, we need to stop being ignorant of the devices of the enemy. The devil will have your sin against God instead of him going to accuse you before God. Until I see you on Monday, stay blessed.